Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go for the alive. Hi, I'm Carl Conrad and welcome to another Australian immigration quick tip. We have been asked many times by Uber or taxi drivers, truck drivers and delivery drivers, can I drive into major non-regional areas while I'm working and holding a 489 or 491 visa? When you read those conditions on your visas, must live, work or study in your appropriate regional or designated areas, it sounds sort of black and white, right? Driving into Sydney, for example, to deliver goods sounds like you're working in Sydney. Well, well, true it does, but when you read the government policy instructions linked to the conditions, it reads, the key to determining whether a visa holder is working in a specified regional area is assessing where the applicant's usual place of work is located. Now that demonstrates that there is definitely some shades of grey in the interpretation when it boils down to where is your usual place of work. If your work involves driving every day to Sydney delivering goods, then you may have a problem with the department. However, if your passage into Sydney for your work is just occasional and not a usual occurrence, then it is doubtful to create an issue. As a truck driver delivering goods driving from one regional area to another and you need to pass through Sydney to get there, this should not raise any eyebrows. If you're driving a taxi or Uber in Wollongong as your usual place of work but receive a request to drive a client to Sydney, it does not mean that you should be declining the opportunity. There is no definite line you can draw on this issue except to use a little common sense. The law is designed for you not to travel into and work in areas that you shouldn't be on a regular basis. If you want to test the boundaries then that's up to you, but the best advice is that occasional occurrences should not create an issue as the guidelines clearly indicate. Remember, breaching your visa conditions can not only lead to your visa being cancelled, it can also jeopardise your chances of being granted your permanent residency later. Safe driving out there. If you'd like to discuss this issue further then book a time to consult with us, otherwise just enjoy watching this channel.